Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Raider, the series where we look at a game to determine if it's worth your time or if it ain't worth a dime. Today's title on the gray list is Alice, Return to Madness. So hopefully you don't lose your head as we descend deep into Wonderland. When it comes to the look, Wonderland is supposed to be a weird, colorful, and visually interesting location. This game is definitely a perfect example of taking the source material and mixing in original concepts. Going from a run-down London town to an ink monster infested mushroom forest. There's definitely no shortage of questionable things to see in Wonderland. The characters have also been given a more gritty appearance, but not to the extent that they are unrecognizable. However, the Mad Hatter does look like a casual zombie. Overall, the visuals are well deserving of an A+. When examining the sound design, the environmental music goes rather well of each area's aesthetic. While the sound effects for items and enemies perfectly match their designs, as well as the ambient sounds providing a nice subtle touch to the world building. Dialogue is also extremely straightforward, mainly because of it opting out of any filler speeches or random remarks, resulting in the sounds receiving a mighty A-. Turning our attention to the gameplay, it's surprisingly simple. However, it does take a very thematic approach, based heavily off of the source material. You can shrink, float, and shoot enemies with pepper bullets. Alright, maybe not that last one. However, the developers did take key story elements from Alice in Wonderland and turn them into part of your arsenal. Alice receives an abundance of tools, including a butcher's knife, a pepper cracker that shoots, a hatter B word that I can't see on YouTube, and a horse's head. Alice also has a neat dodge mechanic in addition to a last stand rage mode called Hysteria. All these are pretty cool features that bring a lot to the gameplay, leading to the gameplay scoring a solid A. From humble beginnings to a climatic end, this game was able to keep me engaged the entire time. The gameplay was simple but intriguing, with some amazing sounds and visuals on top of it. This definitely makes this a title that I'll be returning to in my free time. Overall, Alice Return to Madness would have to be given an A, as this is definitely a game that you should try at some point in your life. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below what game you would like to see covered, as it may be featured in a future episode of Game Raider. However, in the meantime, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until then, have a great day, see you later.